Well, hey there, welcome in. Today it's a fun get ready with me featuring all new drugstore makeup, at least new to me. And we're gonna find out how it works for us over 50 gals with mature skin. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. I have to tell you that this video video is doubly exciting for me because it's a collab with one of my dear friends here on YouTube. Today I'm partnering with Tamara from Tamara's Timeless Beauty and we're doing a fun get ready with me with a little bit of a twist. What Tamara and I have done is I have picked her makeup and she has picked my makeup. So all the makeup I'll be trying today is chosen by Tamara and they're things that I haven't used before. Additionally, all the makeup that she's trying in her video was chosen by me and I can't wait to see how all the products look on her beautiful face. If you're not familiar with Tamara, you're going to be so excited to find out about her. She is another beauty YouTuber over 60. My gosh, I was so glad to find her. She is absolutely a delight. She's our age and she does a beautiful job of talking about makeup and skincare on her channel. The things that you're going to love about Tamara are first of all, her personality. She is so pleasant and so sweet and just is such a delight to watch. The next thing is that she's our age. So the products that she chooses and uses on her channel are great resources for us gals with a little bit more mature skin. It's so nice to have someone else try products and let me know how they work on more mature skin and I love Tamara's reviews. I love her get ready with me's and I love all her suggestions. She's just a delight. It's going to be fun for you to go on over to Tamara's channel and see what products I picked for her. Her coloring is a little bit different than mine so it was really fun for me to put together a group of products that I thought would work for her. I'll have Tamara's channel listed below as well as a link to her video. Make sure you go on over there, check out her video and tell her that I said hi. Let's go ahead and jump into the makeup and as always all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below and they'll also be over on the blog so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into it. Not gonna lie, I'm super excited about this. There's just something so fun about someone else picking your makeup. It just seems so much more exciting. First thing we're gonna start with today is the Flawless Beauty Primer from Pixie. All right, this is what Tamara has to say. Normally I don't use primer. I use primer all the time. Isn't that so funny how we all do our makeup different? But Pixie seemed to have some great products, so we'll give this a whirl. Oh, that's surprising. It has color to it and it's a little bit shimmery, it looks like. So we'll just see how this goes. This almost looks like the L'Oreal Glotion. It has a real radiant finish. It, actually, it's really pretty. I am going to go ahead and put this under my eyes. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll give it a whirl for today. This is really an interesting product. I'm excited to see how it's going to perform. Okay, she didn't specify an eyeshadow primer, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Milani. Just a little bit in between two fingers. I'm feeling a little glowy here. The next product I'm really interested in, this is the Pixi Correction, and this is in the color Peach. This is what Tamara says. At first it feels a little stiff. Just make sure to prehydrate under your eyes and only apply lightly to the darkest areas. If you apply too much, it can accentuate the bad stuff. We don't want that. One thing I can say about the Pixie packaging, it's really cute. We have a little jar here, glass on the bottom and then the little Pixie logo on the top. And then there's the corrector. So she says it's a little stiff in the beginning. So I'll just go ahead and warm it up on my finger. I'm just gonna get that much on and put it right in the areas that I have that dark stuff. Boy, you know what? A little bit goes a long way. I didn't think I was getting much on my finger, but boy howdy, it's doing good. I like to put corrector on earlier in my makeup routine so it has time to kind of blend in and soak into the skin so it doesn't move around when I put my concealer on underneath my eyes. I think that did a good job covering up my purple circles. What do you guys think? I'm excited about this corrector. Okay, we have an eye pencil. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I got the color Light Blonde. And Tamara says this is just an easy pencil. She knows me. Easy is my hot button. This is a good looking brow pencil. It's very, very thin. It has a nice spoolie. 
on the opposite end and then it's an automatic pencil so it just twists up. These are wonderfully handy. As usual, I like to start my brows at the bottom to define the line and then just fill them in from there. This looks like it's a good color for me. This may be a new good find. Where do those things pop up from? Okay, brows mostly in. I'll go ahead and touch them up at the end of my makeup because sometimes when I'm putting on my foundation and eyeshadow, the brows get a little messed with. I'll do the final touches at the very end. I'm having so much fun. I'm so excited about the palette that she chose. This is the Nudes of New York from Maybelline. This is such a beautiful neutral palette. I have heard a lot of great things about this palette, but I've never tried it. It's been on my wish list for a long time, but it seems like other palettes just move to the front instead of this one, so I'm super excited to be trying this. This is a beautiful neutral colorway at a drugstore price, so looking forward to putting a look together with this today. Tamara said, super excited to hear your thoughts on this, another wish list item, so we'll let her know if it's worth buying. I'm going to go into this color soloist right here, and that's going to go on both lids from top to bottom. This is just a real light, almost nude color on my lids. I just want to set down a base and cover up any discoloration. As much as possible, at least. This is so much fun. There's so many different color choices in this palette. This is a light, dusty, purplish shade with a little bit of gray in it. I'm going to use that as the transition color. And that's going to go right above my natural crease. Oh my gosh, that's so so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Lots of pigment in this color. I wasn't sure if it was going to show up. Wow, this may be a really good palette. I'm going to bring that down to the outside corner of my eye onto both lids. Wow, that is such a pretty color. Now I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just blend that in. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and dip it into this color Self Starter. And I'm just going to put it on the tip. That's going to go to the outside corner and down into the crease to really darken up and emphasize that area of the eye. So I'm just going to start with a little bit. You can always add more. It's just hard to take it away once you lay it down. And then up into the crease to define that area. I am really surprised at the level of pigment in this palette and the formula is beautiful. I can't say that I've really used very many Maybelline shadows, but this one is really pretty impressive so far. Now I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and really blend that in. I find with my more mature lids, the more I blend, the better things look. I always blend a lot more than I used to, that's for sure. I don't wanna move that color around very much. I just wanna keep it right in that area. I want there to be a very smooth transition into that crease and along that lid. Now I'm going to take my finger and dip it into this color Originator. This is the traditional shimmer champagne shade. Really pretty and I like the fact that it's more of a neutral, it's not real gold look. And that's going to go right over the movable lid. Nice pigment on this as well. I'm going to bring that down just to the inside corner of my eye a little bit. Then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend that transition in between the lid shade and the crease shade. I'm going to take a flat brush and dip it into this color mist right here. And that's going to go right under the brow just very lightly to highlight that brow area. It kind of has a banana tone to it. Really pretty. For foundation, I'm going to be using the NYX Born to Glow. I've never used any foundation, I don't think, from NYX, and Tamara says this is on her wish list too. I ordered this online, and I think this color is going to be way too light. So I'm going to go light with the foundation and then use the bronzer to kind of color adjust. We'll see how that works. You can see it's really, really light. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out. So just dot it all over my face. I don't want to use too much, just enough to give me some coverage. And then I'll just start pressing that into the skin. This is the BK Beauty 101 brush. I really love this for foundation. 
You can see it's pretty light, but I think we'll be able to work with it. I would say this is about a medium coverage. It's hard to tell about the glowiness of this foundation because that primer was so glowy. I do like the look of that primer though. I think it's just really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just press this foundation in. It's looking nice on the skin. It's not giving me any polka dot pores. To be honest with you, I'd be really curious to see how this looks in a color that's really more suited for my skin tone. It's a cold, overcast day today and there's lots of snow on the mountain. Nice day to stay in in your jammies. Of course, we've been doing a lot of that lately. The next product is the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. <laughs> I don't know, this might be for a younger girl. Tamara says she's excited to see what my thoughts are on this. I'm excited to see what my thoughts are on this too. I got this in the color light. Let's see how it goes. Oh goodness, it has one of those sponge tips. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about sponge tips. I just ripped that sucker right off of there. I really don't care for these sponge tips at all. They just make it hard to control the amount of product. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and barely dip my pinky in there and just place that right in that dark area underneath my eyes. And take my Real Techniques brush, start blending that in. This looks to be a pretty good coverage concealer. I'm not sure that it's laying down as smoothly as I would like, but sometimes it just gets better as it warms up from your skin. Actually, it's looking pretty good right now. This concealer almost has a little bit of a banana tone, which can be really brightening. I sprayed just a little bit of setting spray on my sponge and I'm just tapping that concealer out. Now I'm going to set it down with my Lift and Luminate powder from number 7. Just really lightly. And back in to tap that down. Truly, when you're older, concealer is like a 9-step process. Okay, that's looking good. We'll see how it acts as I continue to put my makeup on. Next up is the Pixi. This is their Nuance Quartet. I don't think I've used any face products. Have I used very many face products from Pixi? I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have to say the packaging from Pixi is really beautiful. And in my opinion, the drugstore could put a little bit more effort into packaging. Oh, look, isn't that pretty? So we have four colors in here. This is a real shimmery blush. This is a matte blush right there. So I guess this is almost like a blush topper. So we have a bronzer and then a highlight. I'm excited about going in with this. I'm going to use my e.l.f. tapered brush and just load that up with some bronzer. I like that there's not a lot of warmth in this color. This is doing a nice job of helping that foundation look a little bit more like it belongs on my skin. This is a good color for my skin tone, so if you're similar to me, this might work. Now I'm going to take my blush brush and just barely dip it into this. This color looks like it's pretty bright, and I just want a slight flush of blush. I don't want hot pink cheeks. So just very gently. Oh, gosh, that's kind of pretty. That looks nice. I'm liking that better than I thought I would. Very pigmented. You only need a little bit. Now I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend that in. Now I'm going to take my highlighter brush and dip it into the highlight color. I'm not going to be using this lighter pink right here. I'm going to be using the kind of more champagne shade today right above the tops of my cheeks. And I always like to go a little bit on the front as well. Oh, that's pretty. It's just something about a highlighter that just wakes up your face. Now I'm going to take that blending brush and blend that in. This next product I'm really excited about. I've heard a lot about this. Tamara loves it. I haven't used it yet. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Tamara says this is so pretty. I think you will love it. Great. Super finely milled with the softest glow. I'm kind of wondering if this is going to do the same thing that my Milani Prep Set and Glow does. I love that product. That's just one of my all-time favorite makeup products. So I'm curious how this will compare to that. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's one of the standard e.l.f. tubs. And I got this in the color light. So it has a little sifter right here. And I'm going to take my big fluffy brush. Just get a little bit on my brush. Tap it off. And then lightly dust that over my face. 
How do I look? Am I looking pretty glowy? <laughs> For the eyes, I have the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. These come in a little three pack and they're a great value. I got the colorway Nude Natural. Tamara says, I love the value in three coordinating liner colors for such a great price. I agree. She says, I don't use the black. She gives it to her daughter, but the medium brown is great for tight lining. Okay, we'll use that today. She says, I also use a little to deepen the outer corner and then use the lightest one for the lower lash line and to soften blend the dark liner in the outer corner. Okay, those are good tips. We'll give that a whirl today. So here we have the three pencils right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the lighter brown and the medium brown like Tamara does. And I'll go ahead and put the black away for now. I'm gonna tight line with this one and also line my upper lid just a little bit. And I'm just using my angled pencil to kind of smudge that liner on my upper lid so that it doesn't have such a stark line. Now I'm going to use this softer brown and I'm going to just accent the bottom lash line right towards the outside edge. Gosh, that's a pretty color. It's kind of a golden brown. You can see it right here. Isn't that nice? Really subtle. This next product is really fun. This is a lash primer like you put on before your mascara. I have never used a primer before. Wait a minute, maybe I have, but it's been a long time. It's definitely not something I do all the time. This is what Tamara says. She says, the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I apply a generous coat, let it set for 10 seconds or so. If I go in right away with mascara, the mascara can actually remove the primer. Okay, I get that. If I let the primer dry totally, the mascara doesn't want to stick as well. The sweet spot seems to be to let the primer set a little and then go in with mascara when it's tacky but not totally wet. All right, let's see if I can remember all that. I'm gonna just do one eye at a time because it sounds like timing is important. And the mascara we're gonna be using is also from L'Oreal, their Voluminous Original. Between the two of these, let's see what we can do with the lashes. Okay, primer first. Okay, is anybody counting to 10? All right, I think that's about 10 seconds. Now the mascara. Okay, the mascara is going on really well. It seems to be really lengthening my lashes. In other words, they look a lot longer than they usually do. That's one coat with the primer and the mascara. Other eye. Here's two coats of the mascara. For lipstick, Tamara said I could pick any one I wanted from Revlon. So I chose the Revlon HD Vinyl Lip Polish. Have you used this? I love these. They're so moist and the color is so beautiful. This is in the color Birthday Suit right here. And I'm gonna pair it with an NYX pencil in the color Natural. Isn't that a pretty lip color? Here we have the finished look. That was so much fun to do. I'll tell you, it was a little bit like playing Barbies. I really, really enjoyed it. I found some new products today that I think are gonna to continue to be in my regular makeup routine. The first one is this Pixi Under Eye Brightener in the color Peach. I really like it, and I like the way that it brightened my under eyes. The formula is nice. I would say you would want to warm it up a little bit on your fingers first before you apply it, but golly, even though this is a tiny little package, a little goes a long way. So I'm a fan of this under eye brightener from Pixi. The Born to Glow Concealer. I'm surprised it's looking a lot better under my eyes than I thought it would. I think it has a nice medium coverage. It doesn't look cakey, and since I set it down, it hasn't creased. This is a nice under eye drugstore concealer. The Nudes of New York palette, gosh, I am such a fan. I wasn't really sure about this formula, which is probably why I kept passing it over, even though it's been on my wish list for a while. But I'll tell you, the shades are really pretty. The formula is great. They blend in beautifully, and I was really surprised at the pigment as well. 
beautiful neutral colorway and there are a little bit of tone shifts in here so it's not just a brown palette there's this nice sort of dusty plum right here some gold some warmer brown some cooler brown if you're looking for a good formula at a drugstore price i can tell you i think this is a nice palette and i'm looking forward to putting together some more looks with it the elf halo glow setting powder i'm liking this what do you guys think about the finish on my skin today I'm actually thinking this looks very similar to the Milani Prep Set and Glow, which is absolutely one of my favorite makeup products. I'm going to continue to use this and I'll put it in a reviews video in a couple of weeks and let you know what my final thoughts are. But just out of the gate, I think this is a beautiful powder that puts a nice little sheen on the skin at a very affordable price. And oh my golly, I think I might start using primer with my mascara. I'm really surprised at how much longer my lashes look from using this. I haven't been a mascara primer girl, but I'm going to continue to use this. And again, I'll give you an update in a couple of weeks and let you know what my thoughts are. But from the first time usage, I'm really liking this. I want to thank Tamara for playing along with me today in this drugstore get ready with me. I had such a great time. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the Over 50 Woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the Over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.